you guys about natural lighting in schools and a problem with it in a solution for it? All right, so on developing an efficient way of allowing natural lights to be present in classrooms to help the students and staff with physical health, mental health, and work productivity. On, by implementing transparent windows into the ceiling to allow for natural light in classrooms. All right, so what is natural light and how does it affect the body? Vitamin D in the immune system can lower, can lower our, our mood. It makes us feel groggy. We get tired, fatigued easily. And then I also did a student survey. This survey was taken by 100 different high school students in North America, American, and Canada. So the first question I asked the, on my survey was, how many classes do you have that do not have natural lighting in them? So we have the we have the green that's one to two classes, blue is three to four, and then the yellow is five plus. And then I asked I asked the students as well if they prefer natural. 
optical lighting or fluorescent lighting? And by a show of hands in here, how many of the sharks included, how many of you prefer natural lighting over lighting in the classroom? So that's that's the everyone. And then I also asked if they if students prefer a dimly lit classroom or a classroom that has heavy lighting that's produced from the lights. Uh, it's kind of like the other question I just asked, the pretty discrete difference. And then I also asked students if they if work productivity and the increase of mental health would be present if more natural lighting was produced in classrooms.
you took notes. Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. That is how you get up and give a presentation. Mm -hmm. You were well prepared. Let, let me say this. I say this with my public speech, teaching hat on, right? I teach speech at the collegiate level. You were prepared. You were well researched. You were passionate. You did your due diligence thinking about solutions. Um, and you were super creative. Like, I've sharked for I don't know how many years since inception. And there are a lot of repeat topics. Mm -hmm. And this was just super innovative and so true. Like, part of why I love my office is because it's natural light, right? And I don't have to use fluorescent. I think um, just a couple of pieces of feedback. Watch your survey questions. If you can go in and make your sentences have proper grammar with like capitalization, that's nitpicky. Sorry, I have to say that. Um, I was incredibly impressed at your focus. So many people made so much noise while you were speaking and it didn't affect your train of thought. I am someone that gets, I call it squirrels, like from the movie Up, but I get distracted <laughs> very easily and none of that broke your focus or the flow of your presentation, so I thought that was wonderful. My one suggestion is you might also look into, I think there's something called a happy lamp or a happy light. Someone in my office has it, but it's used seasonally for people who can get seasonal depression, but that, that something about this style of light has some kind of benefit to it. Maybe that's an option. I do think a cost breakdown would be helpful, like getting some of those things a little bit more known so that when you take this conversation upward, you have those would, would help you, but I was really impressed with your presentation. Thank you. I, I would agree. I think um, I love the use of media. You know, the, the kind of right off semi right off the bat was, was a good eye catcher and, and a good uh, got me kind of thinking you know where will we go next um, you're obviously very knowledgeable I, anybody that gets up there with no cards you're a little nervous because are you going to read it from you did you had them there in case you needed them and, and, and that was perfect so you're obviously very knowledgeable you asked your own questions um, your stats were good I liked it you, you know you mentioned serotonin and then you said and well, you might be asking what that is good good pick me up it's a good good reference that, that there it is um, you looked at multiple solutions. You looked at downstairs. You looked at upstairs. You know, you, you looked uh, not just here's what we're going to do. Here's some other things we can do. Every time I, I, I thought, well, what about this? Or that? then you answered it, and, and you struck on that really well. Um, the only two things I would say look at is number one, um, kind of what was mentioned earlier, financials of, of replacing lights or, or um, windows, that type of stuff. I think that that'll be your big hindrance. And then uh, on your last slide, um, principles. Remember, principal is always your pal, not Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's first day stuff, right? No, no, no. You, you did a phenomenal job. Thank you. Hey, that was a great pitch. I absolutely loved it. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but that was the best one in like three years or four years. However long I've been coming. I really, <laughs> I really appreciate that you were prepared, right? And if you weren't passionate about it. If you were not passionate about it, I could not tell. It felt like you were passionate about it, you really loved uh, the topic, and you wanted to bring some light, no pun intended, to this this area, right? Um, imagine, you know, cities, municipalities, um, you know, countries are trying to figure out this mental health thing. You know, imagine if a natural resource like light bringing light into a school can change that whole dynamic for the next generation. Mm -hmm. Something as simple as that, man, that's a huge find, right? So you're talking about something that I never, I mean, I love light. I'm from the Caribbean originally, and it's all about light, right? The schools down there, you don't have AC like this. You know, you have big windows, and they're open, and you have, that's what, that's your AC. If it's a hot day, guys are sweating, right? <laughs> but that's just how it is, but you have light, you know? And so, and when I think about that, I'm like, man, those kids are pretty happy, you know? They don't have the resources that maybe you might have here, but man, they got light, and maybe that's the thing, right? So it's really neat that you've been innovative talking about light, and I'm all bought in, man, you know? And so, I mean, I mean, you can take this to the next step, right? You know, if you really do the research and really try to see if there's some correlation with, you know, depression and so forth. Definitely there is. And then meeting, meeting with cities, municipalities, meeting with um, architects that just build schools. That's all they do. They build schools and they build churches, right? So, you know, how do you get some play there and, and really make this something something pretty, pretty special? So I appreciate it, man. I love it. Thank Absolutely you. Love it. Anything I would say would be 
thought of something else. Um, they just built the new elementary school, Southeastern Elementary, um, and it's a very different looking school building than a lot of the ones that, you know, I, went, that I ever went to. Um, and so even if you could go just like contact their principal and say, hey, can I come walk through? I want to look at it. I mean, it's super, like there's giant windows in every classroom, and it's really, really, like that was a big focus, clearly, when they were architecturally designing that building. Um, and so it would be interesting to, you know, or talk to teachers, you know, do your students seem to behave or perform better because of this? So that would be something, you know, that's, I mean, two minutes down the road that would be a good real-life example for you to go look at, too, and kind of maybe pull some of your own. You know, I mean, you did your survey already, but go pull some of that research as well. And I mean, granted, you're talking high school and that's elementary level, but, like, realistically, you, pro you can probably apply that as long as you, you know, do it the right way into this too. So that would be something to maybe go look into further just as the next step. Here's what's super cool. So I just got from London this last, on Saturday, right? On the bus tour, on the, we, I did this, I was a tourist, man, so I did it all. So I did that little double-decker bus tour thingy. Oh, yeah. So we're driving through the streets of London. It's unbelievable, just the history and so forth. But they took this, they took this hospital, a children's hospital, they basically ripped off the front of it, and they made it a huge, it's just glass, it's just window. And they did it because they interviewed kids coming to that hospital over the course of, you know, two or three years, and the biggest thing they wanted was life. So they spent 10 million pounds ripping off the front of it, obviously building first, and then ripping off the front, so that the rooms can get natural light from the front of this whole, this, it was unbelievable. So what you're talking about is pretty neat, man. Thank it's you. it's pretty cool. So let's go in business together. Let's figure out how we do this. And we need PR. Any other questions? You nailed it. We're actually going to need a rebel so we can get started. Ethan, good job, man. Great start.